Hallo miteinander, I'm G86, and this is Mass Effect 2. A promise is a promise, we are finishing off Garrus' recruitment mission. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast, he's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up, it was close, but... I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Somehow, Garrus, I think he did. Well, so much for the element of surprise. Last time, we may have defeated the Blood Pack, but as we just heard, the Blue Suns are even worse. Personally, I disagree with that. I find them a little easier to handle. This first group of enemies is led by a named character, Jentha. Like Jareth before her, she's a mini-boss that barely qualifies as one. But unlike him, I kind of regret having to kill her. Reason being, among all those scoundrels at the mercenary camp, she must have been the only person that was remotely nice to you. And she was even an officer. Really, it didn't seem like she fit in at all there. It can't be helped. She chose the wrong side and is now no more. There's something important that I couldn't mention during the first video. Another type of weapon, the heavy weapons. Every class can use these, and as the game goes on, you unlock several different ones. The one we took along on this mission is the M77 Missile Launcher. It may not be among the hardest hitting ones, but its shots are homing. That makes them really effective against light enemies like these. All in all, I like it. Among these heavy weapons is also a launcher for a miniature nuke. Yeah, that one is kind of ridiculous, I think you can imagine. As much fun as heavy weapons are, you have to ration their usage. Instead of the thermal clips that you find lying around just everywhere, they need special ammunition that is a lot rarer to find. So, you only want to whip them out if a situation really calls for them. Now here's a clever usage for the tactical cloak. Becoming a ninja and punching enemies lights out. Melee in this game can be very satisfying. It's too bad that there's barely ever a chance to use it. Thing is, most of the time you have to stick to your cover. Just running out in the open to pummel folks is just way too dangerous and gets you killed quickly. Hmm, this doesn't look good. But Garrus, our man, he knows how to handle himself, right? Well, maybe not. Before we jump into action and save our buddy's shell, we must warp to a choice you make just before leaving the mercenary camp. A choice that greatly influences the difficulty of the upcoming boss fight. When you meet Sergeant Kathka, this engineer here, you have a chance to take another renegade quick time event. Honorable Guest Shepherd here didn't, he just went on his merry way. Now let's imagine a big what if. We weren't so boring and had just a little bit more evil in our hearts. You're working too hard. Crispy. Assassinating Kathka will make it so that repairs on Tarek's gunship aren't completed in time. Then the boss will start with only half of his original health. An advantage we forfeited for Paragon points. Full health or not, Tarek's gunship is not a particularly difficult boss, not in comparison to others, and especially not the ones you find in the DLC missions. Those are tough. Sure, the tart and the missiles it launches do pack a mean punch, but it's nothing the usual cover won't protect you from. What you will have to watch out for most in my opinion is not the gunship itself, but the troops that it will deploy from time to time. You want to kill these goons as quickly as you can, preferably before the gunship is able to reposition and come to their aid. We were able to do just that. Well, that was somewhat of a risky maneuver. Whatever, we are still kicking. 
One thing to know about the gunship is that it only has one health bar and it's all armor. Because of this, we are relying mostly on heavy pistols to fight it. If that seems a little bit strange to you, it's only because you're thinking of most other shooters, where pistols tend to be underwhelming emergency weapons. Not so here, they sport a pretty good damage per second. And that takes care of the Blue Sun's commander. Now let's quickly patch up our good friend Garrus and... Oh. Oh. Well, this doesn't look very good. This also doesn't sound very good. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's in bad shape. We need to get him out of here. Likely doesn't smell very good either. So what does this mean for us? Do we not actually get to recruit Garrus for this mission? You'll just have to wait and see. For now, here's the mission summary screen. It gives you some general information, but most importantly, it tells you the loot that you've picked up. We got some pretty good stuff out of this. In case you're wondering, the person in the background there was the elusive man. Now this video doesn't really have enough room for me to explain in detail who that is, just know one thing about him. He is voiced by freaking Martin Sheen. Yeah, that should tell you that he's kind of important. So how is this situation of ours looking now? Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. Oh no. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Haha, <laughs> he is back. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. <laughs> that is an amazing line. It always cracks me up. Times won't ever be so dire that Garrus wouldn't wisecrack. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. And thus concludes our mission. As you can tell, we were really three quarters or so done with it after the last video, so I saw no reason to deny you the ending of it. I'm Gashady6. This was the continuation of my week 4 entry for the Let's Play Bingo competition. We could call it Garrus Effect 2. If you're still worried about poor disfigured Garrus, don't be. As you can see, he still gets all the ladies. Bis bald!